What's up guys? I'm Caitlin Brunner and welcome to Everyone's a Critic. Now today we're going to be talking about one of the most anticipated movies that came out this summer, Spider-Man Homecoming. Before the movie came out, fans were worried about a new Spider-Man taking on the franchise. However, Tom Holland definitely proved himself, in my opinion, to be the best portrayal of Peter Parker that we've seen yet. In Spider-Man Homecoming, Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr., acts as a mentor to Peter, giving him a high-tech suit at the beginning of the movie before the battle sequences of Captain America Civil War and always being there for Peter when he makes a few mistakes. Tom Holland's Peter Parker struggles to manage school life and Spidey life, facing many responsibilities at just the age of 15. Now, throughout the film, Peter has to keep his superhero life a secret from everyone, telling people he has a Stark internship whenever he disappears. Even though the average person isn't trying to deal with being a superhero, Tom Holland's portrayal is something that we can all relate to. He goes to school, he does his homework, but wishes for something more. So much so that he goes out of his way to find trouble to prove to Tony and to himself that he can handle being a superhero. Now, we've all seen the storyline play out time and time again, but this film offers a fresh take on Peter Parker's story. Even if you're a loyal fan to the original movies, I think that there's still moments to appreciate from this new rendition. Peter's friendship with Ned offers many comedic moments, and there's still plenty of action between Peter Parker and the villain of the movie Falcon, played by Michael Keaton. This movie is also filled with an amazing cast, with actors like Zendaya and Donald Glover, also known as Childish Gambino, getting some screen time, but not nearly as much as I would have liked. Hopefully we'll see them more as the series continues. Other than that, I think Spider-Man Homecoming was the best Spider-Man movie that Marvel has to offer. And this is nothing against Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield's versions of the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. They were both great at the time. Well, mostly great. Unfortunately, we all remember Tobey Maguire's awkward dance sequence from Spider-Man 3. Still not over that. Tobey will always be the original Spider-Man, and some loyal fans will never accept another actor's portrayal. Among these fans is the original Mary Jane herself, Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, that's right. Kirsten Dunst threw some shade at the new Spidey reboot in a recent interview, stating that the original movies were just the best ones and that, in her words, they're just milking that cow for money. Ouch. Now, while some fans may agree with Kirsten's statement, the overall response from the public regarding Spider-Man Homecoming has been overwhelmingly positive. Fans have praised the new movie for further connecting Peter Parker to, Parker to the Avengers universe, making audiences even more excited for the upcoming movie, Avengers Infinity War, which will feature Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Also, Tom Holland is 2017's new heartthrob, so if you don't end up liking the movie, at least you got to see him on the big screen for two hours. So if you haven't got a chance to see it yet, Spider-Man Homecoming should be next on your must-watch list. I'm Caitlin Bremer, and this has been Everyone's a Critic.